Do you ever wonder which costs you can include in your accounting as operating costs, as business expenses, and which ones you can't? This video should give you more clarity. Hi, my name is Mel here from Contest Tax Consulting, and if we look at the law, what exactly the definition of business expenses is, we see that all expenses that are incurred in the context of your business, you're allowed to deduct which means you're allowed to deduct them from your profit. What that means to you is that all expenses that you have to incur to generate income from the past, from the present, or from the future can be taken into account and included in your bookkeeping. There's a whole range of expenses that many companies have, probably including you. You probably have advertising costs. You most likely have office costs. You may have tools that you need for your work, business insurances, you might have employees, or external freelancers. All of these costs, which are incurred in your company, are incurred by many self-employed people, and you may have them also. And of course, you can deduct them. In every self-employment, however, there are also expenses that you may have in your self-employment, but not everyone else has in theirs. To give you an extreme example, we have a dog trainer as a client of ours, and as a dog trainer, she needs dog treats and dog food, etc., in order to generate her revenue, because that's part of the service she offers. Of course, that does doesn't mean that every self-employed person can now deduct dog food as a business expense. But in her self-employment, in her business, it's important. You too will probably have expenses with your self-employment that other people won't have, or other people may not be able to put down as a business expense, but you can. This means that it's about what you need for your personal self-employment that you can claim. These could also be expenses that no one else can use for their business. What's important to understand fundamentally is that the tax office is not there to decide which expenses you have to incur and which you don't. The tax office is not an entrepreneur police that runs after you and tells you you can spend this but not that. The tax office does not have that function. It is there to ensure that profits and sales are taxed correctly. The tax office is not there to tell you how to run your business either. If you make a decision to incur expenses for your business that you need, you're allowed to charge them. It's very important to understand this as a basic principle first because I keep noticing that there's a lot of uncertainty about this. Some costs are, of course, both business and private. That means that there are expenses that are not 100% attributable to your company. This includes, for example, your car. If you have a car, then you will use it both privately and professionally. It could also be that you have an office at home, which means you have a workstation at home, and the rent for the workstation, of course, is a business expense. And everything else is private living space. Other possibilities are that you have a cell phone contract and use the cell phone both privately as well as for your business. That could also be the Spotify contract because you need Spotify in your work, but also for private pleasure. Or you have business trips. You could go to a conference, but stay three to four days longer in order to take a vacation. Then the travel expenses are both work-related and private. For these costs, you have to make estimates that are as accurate as possible for how big the business part is and how big the private part. How you do this exactly is up to you. It should, however, be as realistic as possible. And for the business part, for example, if 50% of the expenses are business-related, you can claim these 50% of the costs as operating expenses, and you can claim an input tax deduction for these 50% of the expenses. The private part is then private living expenses and must not reduce your profit. For some costs, especially for the costs where high amounts are involved, such as the car or home office costs, there are certain legal regulations how to estimate those. I've made other videos on this. I'll gladly post the link to them here. Otherwise, your estimate has to be as accurate as possible. And you have to be able to argue why you estimated the way you did. And then you can claim parts of the costs as operating expenses. There's a special feature for expenses for larger assets that you use permanently in the company. This means for purchases of things that you use over a longer period of time. For example, a smartphone, a laptop, or your company car are purchases that you do not use right away, but that you use for a long period of time in your business and that generate revenue for you in the long term. The costs for larger purchases over 800 euros net, so 
800 euros plus Umsatzsteuer, you have to write off over their time of use. This means that you can't immediately deduct the costs in the first year. If we take a car as an example, you buy a car for 30,000 euros, then you're not allowed to write off these 30,000 euros immediately in the first year as operating expenses, but you have to write it off over its lifespan. That means you have to divide these 30,000 euros over several years. For cars, this is usually six years. That means you take the 30,000 euros and you can then deduct 5,000 euros each year as operating expenditure to get to the 30,000 after six years so that you have 30,000 euros as operating expenditure expenditure deducted overall. Another special feature are business expenses, where the legislator says that you cannot deduct these costs, even though they are for your company, but you can't claim them as profit reducing. The legislator speaks of non-deductible business expenses or limited deductible business expenses. These are relatively simple and easy to understand. So for example, costs for private living. Let's think about your weekly shopping, your groceries. Now, you could say that you need the food to feed yourself, Otherwise, you can't generate sales, and if you don't eat, you can't make any money, and therefore, you have to deduct your weekly groceries as an expense. That's a bit of a stretch, and that's where the legislator says that your groceries have a primary private character and not a corporate character. This means that you cannot deduct costs for private living as a business expense. Costs that you may only deduct to a limited extent are, for example, entertainment costs. This means, for example, business dinners with a business partner. You can deduct the costs for the entertainment in the accounting and claim them as expenses. We have also recorded a separate video on this. However, you can only deduct 70% of those costs as business expenses. 30% are automatically non-deductible operating costs and these 30% must not reduce your profit. Also, what you're not allowed to deduct are gifts to your business partners. All gifts over 35 euros are not allowed to reduce your profit. Gifts below 35 euros per business partner per year are not a problem. Another example is when you are traveling and have meals on the road. For example, at a conference, at a training session, at a client's site, or something like that, then you're not allowed to deduct the meals for this business trip, or you are allowed to deduct them, but only within the limits of the set amount set by the legislator. This means that there is a certain set amount for additional meal expenses, which you can deduct, but you can't deduct other costs. In addition, fines are non-deductible and may also not be deducted as business expenses. You're not allowed to deduct fines, penalties, and all such issues as a business expense. Another expense that you are not allowed to deduct is Umsatzsteuer. If you pay Umsatzsteuer, that's a tax payment that's not allowed to reduce your profit. And a relatively large part, and this is where there's often confusion, is insurance, such as your private insurance, like health insurance, pension insurance, long-term care insurance, personal liability insurance, and so on. These are all your private insurances and you're not allowed to claim them. Business insurances, so business liability insurance, you can deduct 100% and also the health insurance contributions for your employees. Those you can also claim as costs. You're not allowed to deduct your private insurances as a business expense. However, the fact that you're not allowed to deduct them does not mean that you cannot claim them for tax purposes. That is, just because it's not a business expense in your business doesn't mean it's lost. In your private income tax return, you have more possibilities to claim those costs. For example, as special expenses, health insurance contributions, pension insurance contributions, you can claim in your income tax return and they will also reduce your income tax, but they cannot be claimed as an expense in your business accounting. I hope this short video could help you out. If you have further questions, you should definitely write a comment under this video. Or let's talk on the phone. If you're a freelancer or self-employed, you can find the link to book an appointment below this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can do that here. And we have also recorded more videos for you such as this one or this one.